What's going on guys? It's your boy Ricky back with another video. Excuse me, I am in my car. I am coming from work, but I wanted to introduce this video. Initially, my thoughts when I first started this was to do a 42 Alpha MOS video. But the person who I had slated to do the 42 Alpha video was not able to do the video in the time that I wanted it done in. I reached out to a 42 Bravo, which is a human resources officer. And I thought it'd be cool to get an officer's perspective of what a human resources specialist might do. And then also give you guys the scope if you are a 42 Alpha currently, or you are going to be a 42 Alpha in the future to give you the scope of what your supervisor has to do and what they go through. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Les Latrice, AKA Captain Hall. A 42 Bravo is a human resources officer. So basically I am in charge of ensuring that the personnel within my unit are deployable. And that means that they are medically and legally or administratively ready to deploy. So that consists of managing strength. So making sure I have the right person with the right MOS at the right time, as well as just personnel accountability and overall readiness. To put it in layman's terms, I'm making sure that I'm reporting if a soldier needs to get their vision checked, get their teeth checked out, or go to the dentist, things like that. That's on the medical side, administrative side, make sure there are any legal actions or anything like that, just to make sure that they're just ready to go all around 100% ready to deploy if the situation were to arise. The basic officer leadership course B, I think they call it now, is where I learned to do my job. And currently that is at Fort Jackson in Columbia, South Carolina. I think the course is about four months. And that's where you learn to do your job. For me, I went to Triple C, which is Captain's Career Course. Pretty much it's your the school you go to once you get promoted or become promotable to captain. So um, you're just learning the more advanced as a 42 Bravo. So I think the most important thing that a 42 Bravo should know fresh out of school is their systems. You're gonna learn how your unit operates and like what's the best way to get things done. But as far as HR systems go, there's a lot of HR systems. We have email poll, which is the main system of record, iPerms, EDAS, Web EDAS. It's a whole bunch of different systems that do a lot of different things in order to get certain information for your commander or for anyone who might need it you have to know how to use these systems and you have to know what the systems can provide for you so i think that's the most important thing if you pay attention to anything in school make sure you pay attention to how to use the systems and if you don't comprehend how to use the systems then at least know where to find the user guide or who's the subject matter expert who can help you, which will most likely be your chief, which is your chief warrant officer within your organization, who's the subject matter expert on systems so that you can get that information because you're the, you're the SME which is the subject and matter expert. So they expect you to know. And I, automatically, you're not gonna know, you know everything, but you could at least know where to find it or point them in the right direction. But when I was in school, we learned a lot about Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all of that, but we learned it as prerequisites to our class. We had a whole bunch of classes that we could take. We could get certified in HR through the schoolhouse based off of these classes. So us passing these certain classes, and it's a lot easier for you to get certified while you're in school or while you're in the army than it is in the civilian world. And it actually is a lot cheaper, if not free, when you're in the army. So I say like Excel, Microsoft, PowerPoint skills are what you definitely um, can take from being a 42 Bravo in the army. But most importantly, I think customer service is a huge, huge, huge skill that you can use in almost any arena, any area in the civilian world. That is what you need to take home and build a relationships. Customer service, build a relationships are the two, two really big skills like personable skills, 
that you can take from being a 42 Bravo and use in the civilian sector. So whatever you learn in that regard, like good or bad, like what you don't want to do, what you do need to do in order to maintain a relationship or have great customer service is what you need to consume. That's what you need to just bring into your threshold so that you're no, you, you're you forced to be working with in the civilian world. The last thing that I would like to add is just be yourself. The Army is going to teach you what you know they want you to know what you need to know. Take every single thing in. You might not use it all, but I'm telling you at some point in your career, even outside of the military, you're going to look back on your career and say, huh, I remember that. Oh yeah, this system is what I use, so I know how to do that. As well as take that same energy and apply it towards people. You know what I'm saying? You know, build those relationships with people so that just in case you might need help with something, down the line, you have an authentic relationship, an organic relationship with people or that person so they can help you out. Sometimes having that relationship can make a break and sometimes having it can definitely speed up a process. So ensure that you're just building relationships and that you're learning as much as possible. That is literally probably the whole synopsis of my entire question <laughs> or the whole synopsis on being a 42 Bravo. All right, you guys, my name is Captain Hall, first name Leslie. I am a human resources officer, AKA 42 Bravo in the United States Army. Thanks for watching. Guys, thanks for watching this video. If this is your first time at the channel, welcome. Uh, take a second for me right now and hit the like button. And also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, also take a second right now and hit the subscribe button in conjunction with the bell notification icon so you can be notified when I post new content. Guys, I got a lot more content on the way. I got a lot more Army MOS videos coming. I'm trying to do what I can. Um, also, let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see some vlogs from me. I've been trying to figure out if I want to vlog and I don't know if you guys are that interested in like my day to day or whatever. But if you guys want to see some vlogs from me, put that down in the comments and also give me some more ideas of what type of videos you want to see. The Army MOS career videos are great, but let me know some other videos you want to see or some things you think that, uh, that you want to know about um, on this channel. Um, again, guys, my name is Ricky Bowden and thanks for watching.